we're back. Well, we're, we're gonna start a new chapter here. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the skirt. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the um, waistband, which is known as the girdle of the graces waistband. So this would be in your pattern layout, this would be number seven. And uh, I will correct myself there. I thought that there was a whole bunch of extra fabric with number seven, but there really isn't because there's, you have to cut the waistband out of that. Uh, but there is, there is quite a bit of extra fabric. So, there, you know, it wasn't as much as I thought. So you're cut, cutting out the waistband and you're gonna cut it out, you're cutting it out with the tarlatan. Yes, tarlatan and the silk. Okay. And we have to do, uh, we have to cut one tarlatan and cut two, two of the silk. So that needs to be. Okay, we will do this. We do this and then we'll cut out one silk. And the reason I know that is not because I'm such a, so smart, I actually read on the pattern piece where it says, cut two, cut one tarlatan. Let me just make sure the grain is always going in the right direction. Straight up and down. And if you hear some really loud snoring, uh, Louie and uh, Bixby are now both in the hood. Okay, now that we have the two silk and one tarlatan, then I'm going to proceed to cut right at the edge. Okay? Right at the edge. Okay, so you've got that cut out beautifully. And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sew this up and do a fitting. Okay. All right, so we'll be back in just a second. So we've got it cut out, we have now have it pinned. We have the silks stacked on top of the tarlatan. Correct. Which Say it may seem funny, but look at that. So two silks stacked on top, then the tarlatan is on the bottom. Because then when we turn it inside out, the tarlatan is in the middle. So we're gonna sew that up. recommend, I mean, you can do this by hand, but I re recommend this part to be done by machine because the waistband is going to have to hold up the whole skirt, so it really needs to be as strong as possible. All right, so we've got that done. Now we're going to turn it inside out. Now you lift one. One, you lift one. And I'm going to do a top stitch. 
around here. Okay. okay. Well, Rosie, you know, she still likes to rock and roll even at her advanced age. Okay, so I'm gonna clip all my threads right here. Now I'm gonna do a little trim right here. Just a smidgey. Yep. All three of the bulldogs are down now, and they're overwhelmed with the sewing workshop. Right at the tip, I'm gonna do a little clip as well. Yeah, that That'll is. give you a nice access to uh, form the point a little right. better. And but but be, people be careful, dude, because you don't wanna clip You don't wanna off. clip the, um, the, uh, hem, the uh, seam, the stitching, I'm sorry, and then do some clips here as well. Don't, just a few. Just a few uh, here, especially here at the curve, okay? Because that helps with the curvature to help. It'll make a smooth um, curve there once we turn it up. And we really want that dramatic look of the, the point. This, um, the Girdle of the Graces is on a, a couple of Rose Percy's ensembles. She has a Girdle of the Graces. Okay. And you're going to do the same concept of with, with working with the, um, the Polichinelle points, and you're just going to use your little pointer and go in there and get a nice shape there. And we're going to press it out once we get it all. I'm going to press this down like so. Mm -hmm. And we'll, pr we'll press this, and then we will be right back for the okay. next step. So we're back. Uh, we pressed this out. It's looking nice and pointy. It looks like Mount Everest. Um, let's see how you've, you can see how Jose has pressed it. He's pressed the ends down about, a, isn't that about a quarter of an inch? A quarter inch? of an inch, yes, okay, on Which each is side. what it says on your pattern piece. The, 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 the inner, you can see it has the top stitching. And now you're going to fold over the front and then you're going to... I'm going to pin this. Pin down. it. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to... At this point, you can either finish this by uh, on the machine, do a running stitch along, or you can do it by hand. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this by hand. Um, it's this, gonna get covered with a trimming, so yes. um, it, it doesn't yeah, really can, matter. Yeah, uh, we can do it a very light little run run by hand. So, so, but people, you can do it any way you want because it will not be seen. But we, we do have the moment of truth coming up very quickly, which is, does it fit? I'm See, going Anna, to remove some Anna, of this. Anna, Annabelle's come down and joined, joined us. She, does, she doesn't want to miss out of all the excitement of sewing. Having the virtual world here for with the, for the bulldogs is just a complete inconvenience. Okay, so that that's a, that that's looking good. Mm-hmm. We'll tuck the little thread in the fibers back in when we, as we sew it up. But now we have to do the, the, the moment of truth. Mm -hmm. 
Has Georgiana, has she eaten overnight? Has she had the bonbon? Okay, let's do it. That's what you want. And I think that by the time it's all done and the pins are out, that is gonna be a perfect fit without any adjustments. So we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna sew this up and then we're gonna start on the actual skirt. We'll be back. We are back. We have finished the uh, waistband. Uh, as far as the, the construction part, and it turned out really nice and we're happy with it. We've closed up the bottom, we did that by hand. You don't have to do it by hand, but we did it by hand. And it is ready to have the skirt uh, attached. Um, there's a couple of things that we could be doing at this time, but we've decided that we're going to do the actual skirt next because it gives us a little break from all those uh, Plus Chanel points. So we pulled out the packet number three and we prepared our um, patterns ready. The tarlatan, we went ahead and pressed it. We pressed the silk. So we're ready to cut this out. So I'm gonna move her out of the way because we need the space. And of course, Louie's here. So she's gonna sit over here for now. And there's our pattern piece. And basically just a uh, pin. <clears throat> and then fold it and pin it. Okay, one thing that you're supposed to um, make note of that is the silk. I don't know if you can take that in, you can show it. This part right here, it's higher than the center. Right. Okay. So uh, the bottom over here, that's the bottom. So we're going to go and match. End to end. End to end. Okay. Exactly. Right. The pattern piece <clears throat> has the curvature in it so that we've made it easy for, for you and for them. We don't have to measure. But normally we would never, never use a, a pattern piece for a skirt. We just create it ourselves. <clears throat> And Samantha's back from the post office. So all of you are getting your, your packages. And this is cut pretty good so that you don't have to, um, I know some of, the, some of our regular kit buyers don't have a huge amount of space to work in. So this has been cut so that it makes it easy for them to. Poor Annabelle, she's so inconvenienced by this whole workshop. things we're folding this over so it's not as much um, so it's ready ready and now I'm gonna do <clears throat> you're gonna do a little trick are you gonna tell us what the trick is or are we gonna have to just wait and see um, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so we'll we'll do a. Um, gonna do a basting stitch. Oh, I know what you're gonna do. All right. I didn't have enough coffee to do this. 
side and behind on what we do. Remove all the pins. Now I'm going to you know, just a little trimming. Just a little trimming here, just to, so that you, you remove all the uh, hairs. And, and it helps straighten it up a little bit, because that, that's the cutting just right off of the, um, the bolt. So it may not be the most precise. So we get rid of that. Now there isn't a right song or side or wrong side to the silk, so it doesn't matter either way you go. So now we're going to press that down. Yes. All right. Okay. So we're going to go over to the our little trusty little ironing board. And so we're pressing it. The, the seam is going to be up. Correct? Yes. It's up. Towards the yasiok. Right. So, you know, you can feel it. You can feel that it's up. So we're going to do that first step is up, which actually helps give the, the hemline uh, a, little, a little weight to it. another quarter of an inch so that when you look at your seam allowance the, the hem is a half an inch so let's just let's just grab our little metal tape measure there and let's just measure this because it looks to me just eyeballing it that it's a quarter of an inch but let's just measure it and it is a quarter of an inch so we're good so now we're going to press this down and this time maybe do you think we should give it a little mist or you think it's all right this is fine. Okay. <clears throat> We're in Pacific, but we're a block from the ocean, so we've got a lot of um, we've got a moisture in the air. Okay, now we're at the point to to cut the pattern pieces out, and you can see right there that what Jose did saved a tremendous amount of time. Now, I believe that this is um, ends up being 40 inches of, of uh, material. Is that right? <clears throat> we'll find out. Because I just, I can't remember offhand, but... 42. Because we have, we have the, the uh, back closure. So it'll, you're, you're going to be working with 40 inches of uh, material. Okay. So okay. the next step will be... And you can see Lou's down here. Hey, Lou. 
Lou's gonna be 10 years old pretty soon. Okay, so we will continue with the uh, running All stitch. Right. Up <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a candy factory. Okay, now we get to trim it. Get to trim this. And we want to trim this now because we want to. That's a nice little good one inch. A uh, band of tarlatan that could be used for hats, for um, cuffs. Making a ham on a skirt. Making a hem, yeah, absolutely, to, to face a hem. So we've got, we've got to save that because that's, that's some good stuff. I have a little receptacle where we put things like that and if I'm working on a project and I need just a tiny smidge, it's so much better than cutting it off a nice piece to use it. Now you can also do, use uh, pinking shears and that will prevent more from um, the fabric to um, rumble in, right? But it's, we're, we're going to be working with the soap fat. So okay. I'm going to cut this a little bit too, just cutting the excess. Oh. And making sure the other side looks good. Looks mm -hmm. good. So now the next step will be closing the back okay. over here. Okay. So this is a great technique, people, to, to do a really nice back. I'm going to leave three and a half inches to do the opening of the, uh, of the uh, back of the skirt, okay? So. Now, instead of a quarter of an inch uh, seam allowance, I'm gonna give it half an inch. There's a reason for that. There is a reason for this, half an inch, okay? So we have our half an inch seam allowance there. We are going to um, press it open now. And it's all, all it needs now is we need to go and do some hand, hand work on that. And that is a clean, beautiful um, technique to use to do a back opening or a pant <clears throat> opening. This is this is done in you know lots and lots of original costumes and theatrical costumes. Um, so we'll just go in and we're gonna hand sew that and we're gonna hand sew this and we will be back. So we took the time and we finished the back seams and we've got our beautiful opening. Now we're going to trim the costume um, at the top, and that's the raw edges because our, our hem is beautifully done. So now we're going to take our pattern piece that we've put together, and we're going to, there it is, and then we're going to lay it at the front, and then we're going to trim on the fold what needs to be trimmed off. 
and we can go just a little bit, squeeze a little bit more here. Get the piece lined up. Just a, t just a tiny bit more. It's not quite, okay. Now, well now it's too far, just a little bit. Okay, there, we're good. So you could have done this, um, you could have cut this off from the beginning. We just didn't do it that way, but it, it's coming off. So we're taking our pattern piece and we're trimming it. Jose standing way back there. You should be left with about four inches of extra material um, when you do this on the end. So we cut those pieces off. We're not saving them because they're not big enough for anything. And, some, and uh, Annabelle's finding this whole thing completely boring. Just, we put her to sleep. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start to to gather the skirt, correct? I'm going to do a, a top stitching. Just on the piece Just we cut? On the piece, yes. Yeah. I mean, we could have cut it from the beginning and just done this one time. We were in the mood to keep the hem hem So we have beautiful skirt. And I'm gonna press down this, the edge right here. You're turning it and hiding the uh, uh, top stitching. You don't want that to show on the front. Okay, so I'm gonna and go you're, And you're gonna follow the curvature of the cut. Cutting. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll do that and we'll be back. So we've got the skirt all ready. As you can see, it can stand on its own. The top stitching is done. If it stands on its own, you can see it's shorter in the front, longer in the longer in the back. And the reason we have that is because just like people, dolls have rear ends. So it has to be longer in the back. So there we go. Okay. So the next stage is we're gonna to start to gather it. I'm gonna to start to gather this and I did I fold this in half and I got my center. Okay. I mark that with the pin. That's the center of the skirt. And you've got your thread up. And got my thread out. Double, double and, thread. And I just introduced Jose to the glory of uh, the the needle threader. And um, Cheryl Williams introduced me to the needle threader. And he poo-pooed it at first, but then I watched him struggle yesterday and it's a miracle, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Say that again louder. Yes. <laughs> so, and if you, if you, if any of you are out there struggling, we have these in our in our boutique for sale, and it's they've changed my life. So, um, you know, now I find sewing enjoyable because I've. Uh, I don't have to struggle spending 15 minutes trying to um, thread a needle. So are you, you're gonna do two rows of stitches. Yes, yes. two rows. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm um, just following each pink line as my- um, As your guide. As my guide, I on, as you can see, on the right on the uh, pink line, I make a tiny stitch from underneath and then a bigger on top and bigger on top okay it's a, it's a running stitch basically and you really have you have to do two rows of stitches to get this to work 
and it doesn't matter what size the stitches are as long as they're each one is the same size they can't you can't do this with the top stop row big and the small row little you'll have very strange um, gathers Okay, so we're going to do this and we're gonna come back. We'll see you soon. So we're back. We have done all of our sewing lines for our hanging skirt. And you can see how Jose used stripe as the guide and he's done his small understitch on the pink and then he's pulled it all and which as beautiful as it makes a perfect little pink um, row. Um, now you you have pulled it halfway. Mm -hmm. You made your center. You pulled it halfway. What is the reason for that? Uh, the reason for that is because you want to have an even amount of um, gathers to, towards each end of the skirt. Right. We don't want a you don't little want here, a little there, too much on one side or another. So. Yeah. Basically, your uh, beginning point is uh, your center. Hand, the center. Mm -hmm. So I mark my center right here, and that will give me half of the skirt, and this is half of the skirt. It's already pleated. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's fit, it'll fit perfectly. So now we're gonna pull in the other side, and a, a, a lot of people have a problem with gathering their um, skirts and, and having them be uneven, but you've got this down in the first when you're working with a pattern that you can use, it really does make it easier, don't you think? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Okay, now Kung Fu sewing, you gotta go slower. And it's fun to just see this come alive. I love that little pink band now that we have. Not that they're gonna see it, but we know it's there. And since you measured it off on the other side, we know, we know it's gonna work. So now you just tie it off, correct? Yes, but first you gotta make sure. Uh, You're gonna test it. I'm gonna test it, see if, if it's all right. The, the size is right, okay? Just a, looks like it's just a tiny bit, huh? Yeah, just a tiny bit. Okay, we'll see. I just drop this. Okay. There, that's gonna work. Mm -hmm. Still just a tiny smidge that needs to go in. Just a smidge. Okay, we got it. We got it. So now we're gonna tie it off. So you take both the threads, you tie them. A couple of knots. A couple of knots. Mm -hmm. So we've got the we've got the uh, skirt all gathered, and the next stage is we're going to attach that on to the waistband.
And this is something that a lot of people are very puzzled by. And it's absolutely necessary to have in um, 18th, 19th, and some 20th century clothing in order to get that amount of volume, 40 inches into this little tiny waist. And this is how you do it. So this is attaching the hanging skirt. So tell us what you're doing. Uh, what I'm doing here is doing some kind of a whip stitching. And basically every fold that, that I have here, you're, you're I'm going to open it. And go between it. And go between it. And take that little tiny stitch in between. And it's what not too tight. I mean, it's loose enough that there's a little movement, correct? Yes. Yes, you gotta leave it a little, not too tight, because uh, it's supposed to be a hanging skirt, so. It, the, the waistband is gonna flip up, and that's gonna be, the skirt is gonna be hanging off those stitches. So we're gonna go in real close, so that you can see how it works. You can see those nice stitches that you have. And that's, that's going right up to the edge at the bottom of the girdle of the Grace's waistband. So we're gonna let Jose finish this and then we're gonna be back to talk about our next step. We'll be if back. they're kind of loose, a sorry, if they're kind of loose a little like this, what you wanna do since we're working on towards the back of the skirt, what you want to do is just bring this closer to the last uh, fold that you have there. Yeah, just to correct it. Yes, just to correct it. Because yeah, you, you basically want... You can just you, see it pulled right in. So it, it, you want the fullness towards the back, not right at the belly. Yeah, no no fullness at the belly. There's, there's a, we already have enough of that in this world. Okay, we'll be back. Bye-bye. So we've sewn it all on. We've got our, it's looking really good. We get in there, it's looking really good. You can see that is the way, let's see it again. Let the, that's the way it's supposed to look from the inside. It's all nice and tight. Then we have the decision to make now is we can leave the sewing lines in or, or stitches or we can remove them. And if we remove them, it will make the skirt fluffier. So since this is like a dessert, I think it should be fluffy, like a beautiful French pastry. So Jose is going in and he's going to just use his seam ripper and he's just gonna take out the stitches. And we'll have to, at the end, we're gonna do a little repair work there, but you can see that once they're gone, it just makes um, it makes it fuller. Now you you sometimes want that in there. You want to leave those in. For, it depends on the look you're going for. And historically, it's it, both are correct. I think it's looking really good. So the next thing we're gonna do, and um, we're not gonna show you because you've um, watched us do this, we're going to trim along the girdle of the Grace's waistband, and it's basically the same trimming as around the neckline. We're gonna do that. And then we're also going to do the over uh, skirt pieces, which are basically the same concept as the over sleeve. Correct. So we're gonna get that done. And then we're gonna just do the one little straight band of the gold trim around the skirt. And then we're gonna, we're gonna work like mad, we're gonna do that, 
and we're gonna be back in a few minutes um, uh, to show you, and then we're gonna move on to some new things. So we're back. Uh, we've had a, a nice little weekend's rest, but you can see before we left, we finished the top and we have finished the skirt. I will disclose that the skirt is fuller than your pattern um, that you have, although you could do it just as full. We had a length of fabric in the kit and we decided to use it. So we've made a nice full fluffy um, skirt. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the pantalettes. So, Jose, are you ready for this? Yes. Yes, did you get, did you get enough? I know, I know you're tired, you've had a long, weekend of, uh, of rest and relaxation and bulldog sitting. So we're gonna do the pantalettes. So we've got our package out, got our pattern pieces in, and I'm gonna take them out. So I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see too what we're doing. So there we are. So I'm gonna give the fabric a nice press right now. Yes. So, okay. okay. We're just giving it a nice little press. And the nice thing about this fabric is it doesn't know, matter which side you use, it's both the same. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to fold this in half. I mean, and I'm gonna make sure that the stripes from underneath match, match, up. match up right here. Okay, so I'm going to pin it just to secure that position of the fabric in place. We're very, very matchy here. We like to have our plaids match, our flowers match, our stripes match. This is a nice fabric to work with too as far as matching it. Okay, we have it like that now, and I'm gonna fold it in, in another half again. Making sure they line up. They line up, okay? Now these are the, these are not her underpants. These are her decorative pants so that if she's doing twirls or the wind blows or doing a little dance that it's cute to see her her pants okay i think that's pretty that's the pretty lines good. are pretty mm -hmm. lined up now yeah now i'm watching uh, you <laughs> uh we're gonna do this well, on, on look the fold at from from my point of view they're lining up the pattern pieces and the fabric are lining up perfectly so we're going to pin it again, and then we're going to just have one cut, and we're ready. And boom, you have the two pieces cut at once. Okay, I'm ready to cut. <clears throat> Making a little pocket right here, so you want to make sure you don't have any folds or it's puckering. Okay, we got it. fabric right there. We'll put that in our little stash because that's enough to cover some buttons if we had to or wanted to. Okay, so I'll remove the pins now. Remove the pattern. We have it. We have one. I'll just drop the other one. Sorry. Into. We're going to put these two together. See how the lines match up really and nice. That match up perfectly. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to pin this in place. Okay. 
and pin this side as well. Okay. And these are gonna be little, you know, they're a little baggy pants. So um, a lot of people don't know how to put pants together, but that's how you do it right there. Now we're going to proceed with uh, some tap stitching. Eventually, if you make enough garments, a uh, quarter of an inch seam allowance is all you ever do, unless for dolls. So I think the next step we should do is we should just take the time and overcast the seam there. And then that way we don't have to go back to it and just finish off the, uh, the seam. So why don't you and I do that? And uh, while, you're, while you're doing that, I'll start sewing bells on because we've got a lot of bells to sew on, don't you agree? Yes. Yeah, so you're gonna just trim that a little bit, just a smidge. And then we're going to just do a little overcast stitch on it. And we'll be back and show you the results. Well, we're back. Uh, while uh, Jose was overcasting the inseam of the pants, or the crotch seam, I, I sewed, on, sewed on a few bells. Slow going, but I got them four, four done, 70, 68 to go. So Jose did the work on overcasting and you did a beautiful job those are nice even stitches so we're ready to go on to the next uh, thing that we have to do which is we're going to um, bind the leg opening of the pantalette with the uh, the ribbon so we're going to go up and iron it again so we don't iron back and forth the ribbon we go one way which is that way or the other way if you're left-handed. And then the next stage is we're gonna fold over the ribbon. And it's not a very big piece. And David's coming in. Oh, Hi, David. Hello. So do not ever go back and forth with this. Now, if we were um, doing a big piece, we'd pull it through. But this is a small piece, you can't really do that. Okay, so that's, pretty, that's ready. So we're gonna go back. And now we're gonna start sewing this on. The reason we're doing this now is it's easier that we can in enclose the raw edges in the side seams when we sew them up, or the inseam when we sew it up. Now it's honestly really not gonna show much, but it's just nice to have that kind of quality finished Okay, we're back. So we are ready to start sewing the, um, the binding on the edge of the pantalette. So we've got it pressed, we've got it pinned, and we're just gonna do a nice, small running stitch. This uh, leg opening is not gathered. So it, it just has to have a, just a nice little decorative running stitch. We're trying to take the stitches nice and even. Not overworking the silk because it is this very, the, the, the edging silk is, ribbon is very delicate. So we want to not to make too many mistakes because if we take it out, then we pretty much have to throw it away.
just about there. We should work overwork you on the weekends more often because you just slowed down from kung fu sewing to where I can actually hold the camera and keep up with you. Well, um, I know, but uh, maybe uh, this type of work right now, it should be, uh, you know, you have to take your time. Slow, yeah. Yeah, because you might, you want to make sure you are sewing through. Both sides. Both sides and the silk as well. Okay, you've got three side, three layers to go through. But yeah, I, I can see you use your finger to kind of feel the um, needle, don't you? Yes. None of us here would have the pretty fingertip um, award. Sometimes it really is like we've worked our fingers to the bone. Okay, it looks like we've got that. And a perfect time to, to uh, stop. Uh, you know, Bixby's in the back crying. <laughs> so we'll let him out here. So we'll, we'll come back with the next step. So that looks really good. And we'll do a little, we'll do the other side and then we'll do a little, a little quick press and then we'll go to the next step. We're back. Um, Jose's gotten all the uh, trim on. It's pressed out nice. Um, while he was doing that, I was working on putting bells on, which I'll be working on for a while. If you hear uh, sound effects in the room, the Bulldogs have woken up from their nap and they're in here with us, sewing with us. So the next step we, we have is the application of the lace. So we're gonna put the lace right at the edge of the pantalette. And this, is, this would be on, of course, the outside. And so we're just running it across straight. There's no gathers. And we're just going to pin it, and then we're going to sew it on at the top, not at the bottom. We're just using the bottom as a way to keep it nice and straight. It's going to be slightly gathered in, uh, and but we will do that after we've sewn the pants up. So we're gonna get this sewn on and we will be right back. And where are we gonna sew it? We're gonna sew it right from the top, don't you think? I'm gonna begin from the bottom because I want to secure you the wanna, lace you as you cut sides. it. Yes, as you cut it, it unravels, so you want to prevent that. So I'm gonna start, start there. from there. And then we're gonna do, do it, the, the top of the lace is called a header. So we're gonna start sewing it at the header, correct? Yes. Okay, we're gonna do that and we'll be back. So uh, we have all the lace sewn down and trimmed. You can see it's trimmed on the edge. And then you can see in the inside, that'll kind of give you an idea of how it's sewn. So that's ready to go. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna close up the, uh, the, the side, the inner seams, and then we're going to work on the waistband. So we'll do that and we'll be right back. So I'm sorry, I was just looking at our instructions and we didn't give you any instructions of what to do with the waistband on these pantalettes. So we're gonna tell you right here and now. So what we're gonna do is we've taken our little baby arm um, ironing pressing board and we're gonna press, press the piece out and then we're gonna do about an eighth of an inch fold over. And you can see we're trying to keep our stripes all in line. We're going to do one press, press nice and sharp. We're just using a dry iron. It's no need to, no need to get everything all wet. We've got some real snores in the room. 
Okay, so we've done it an eighth of an inch, and now we're gonna go another eighth of an inch. It looks like something's being delivered. We are a real functioning place, so things happen here. Again, look at how, look how these stripes are just lining up perfectly. And you just have to take your time and get this right. Lou, okay there, that looks really good. Lou, nobody wants that right now, we're working. There's Annabelle. And you can see that folded over very nicely. It'll look good. And we'll be back for the final step on the waistband. So we've got the pantalettes pressed over. We're ready to create the channel. Uh, at this point, we're going to put our, our gathering cord in. We're going to lightly pin it, and we're going to have the cord coming out the back. And again, I apologize for not uh, including this in the pattern instructions. Sometimes, remember, I, I, I redo this, and I know how to do it, and I sometimes forget that other people might want to have someone explain it to them, so we're doing that now. You don't have to do it this way. It just does make it easier to um, have the cord in, uh, and then once it's sewn, it's, it's ready to go on after we sew the, uh, the inner legs together. Okay. So, so we're gonna we got this. the cord inside, and now um, you're gonna do this by hand. I'm gonna do this by hand. You can do it on the machine if you like, but um, I'm gonna start not exactly from the um, um, center, seam. center seam, but uh, leave it like a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch over mm -hmm. opening. Okay and proceed with uh, tiny stitches. And maybe we should do at this point a little back stitch there so that it's really nice and tight. Don't you think that would be a good idea? Yes. Nice thing about doing this by hand at this point, you do, um, you can control the, the, the cording. You don't have to worry about sewing it up, which you could easily do on the machine. So we'll, we'll uh, sew this all up and we'll be back. We're back and we've, um, we've uh, I've been sewing bells. Jose um, went and closed up the uh, waistband. So we're at the end and now we're gonna just do a little back stitch to close up the area. I'm gonna take a couple of nice, maybe three or four just to, to have strength because this, we're gonna be pulling on this area. And then we're gonna clip it off and we've got this part done which is really not my favorite thing to do, but we've done it. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to sew uh, the uh, inner, inner legs. We're gonna sew those closed, and we're gonna do that on the machine. I mean, you could do, it all, you could do all of this by hand, but we're gonna do this on a machine just because we, we want it to have some strength. You wanna match your, hand, your uh, seams right here, the side. Under those are perfect. And it looks like the lace, everything's lining up perfectly. And we're gonna just zip through that and get that done.
All right, so we're going to go back and we're going to now sew up Doing our quarter of inch seam allowance. So the next step is we're going to trim it nicely and then we're going to overcast and then we will pr press out and then we will have the moment of truth, which will be when we try them on. We'll do that and see you in a minute. So we've done all the sewing, we've overcast the seams, we've pressed them out. Now it's the moment of truth. We're going to uh, turn the pantalettes inside out and we're going to see how they look. They look pretty nice. Nice matchup on the legs. And so now we're going to give them a try, our, our girl it's been going commando, and now it's time to give her... <laughs> We're going to try them on, see if it works. I think that's going to work. She's got already got a slip on. She's got her, um, her hoop skirt on. So she's already... I think that's a good... That's a good fit. And the final thing we have to do is we're going to do a, a little, the, the bows around the leg and then, and then we're done. Hold it down. Oh, no, it's up high. Well, we're going to have to go up under her skirt so you can see. So that, that's, that's how it should look. All right, we'll do the bows and we'll show you the final result. So we've got a great fit. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to insert the uh, ribbons into the pantalette lace. I am, um, again, I apologize that that was not in your instructions, but we're giving it to you right now. So you've got this beautiful lace. And what we've done is we've taken a bobbin. This is a tool that those of you that don't have one, it's called a bobbin. You can easily find these. Um, hold still, this one's, this one's been around with us for a long, long time. This makes doing things like putting uh, ribbon insertion so much easier. So we're gonna just take it from the edge and we're gonna weave it in and out in a decorative way. And there's no um, sewing involved here to, to do gathering. The, the ribbon's gonna do the gathering. And you're gonna cut off a piece that's gonna be 10 inches uh, in length. And then we're not gonna sew it, we're not gonna tie it up until after we have the stockings done because the stockings are going up above the knee so they will go in there. And see how pretty that is. Our friend Catherine Weatherly, who would who would be 110 years old now if she were still alive, she lived to lived to be 103. Her job in her house, uh, when on laundry day, uh, was to put the ribbons back in all the lingerie. So here we go. We're going to do it again. Just really pretty. And you can see Bixby feels the need to dig through our beautiful needlepoint carpet. There we go. And then you can go back in and just um, adjust it. You can see we've got one side that the ribbon's laying down 
flat and the other it, it's, it uh, is bunched up. But you use your bobbin and you can just correct that really easily. You want to do that before you go and do your, your little bow ties at the end. But we're not going to do that until the stockings are done. We will be back and we will next work on the stockings. We're back and we are on to a new project. So before we start the next things we have to do, we have to, which are the shoes and the hat, uh, we have to do the stockings. Why we're gonna do the stockings now is because we need to get them, the pants on and in place and we need to have the stockings uh, on the doll in order for us to do the shoes. So we're gonna take, we take pack number six, isn't it? Yes. And in pack number six is some beautiful antique silk knit. And this is in perfect condition. It's lovely, very, very hard to get. So it's, it's gonna be a very tight squeeze to get um, the, the stockings out of this, but we should have plenty. So we're gonna fold it in half. Uh, Jose, show them how to do that again because you make it look too so fast. So easy. Okay, so. It's, uh, after you hear heavy breathing, that's. We have the whole piece here. Yeah. We fold it in half. And another half. And we're not gonna press this because it's gonna go on the doll, doll's legs and she'll take out all those marks. So you've got plenty of uh, space there. Louie's hot, even though it's not even hot. Let's see Lou. Where are you, Lou? Lou, are you hot? <coughs> Annabelle, that's enough. Annabelle. So we just did a nice little cut. Honestly, this is one of the easiest things in the whole kit to do. So we've got them done. So the next step, let's see how they look. They look very nice, the right shape, just exactly what we want. So the next stage. I'm showing here um, the right and the wrong side. Right. So. And there is a difference. There's a slightly difference, yes. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't matter which side you use as long as you use both the same. But there is a right side and the wrong side. So what we're gonna do next is to finish the top, we're actually gonna do a rolled hem. So we're just gonna take and slightly just roll over the knit. And then we're gonna very, very, very lightly baste it because we want it to have a little bit of give when we want the, the threads to give a little bit. So this is not gonna be tight. I think I'm gonna come behind you because it'll be easier on it. So you're pinning it, but sometimes this normally this this is a very thin, uh, luxurious, silky knit silk. Um, if you were using a cotton, it would just roll over. Um, but this we have to pin in a little bit. And this is gonna be a very light stitch. There's gonna be no real tension there. Sorry. I'm just gonna do what I always do to do my work. I usually pin, you pin it on your leg. Pin it on my, on my leg and that holds it in place and it's just easier to do and if, more if, stitches. If you, if you sew it onto your pan, it's no big deal. I'll just snip it off. Okay. Whatever works for however anybody 
um, the end result is not how you do it, but when it's done, how it how it presents. So there's really almost no tension there because we want it to be fairly loose. Finding nice socks is not easy to do because it's something no one really wants to knit or no one really wants to make because it's not it's not that much fun, but in our case, these are fun because it's one of the easiest steps in this whole kit, I think. Don't you agree? Yes. And, you know, if you don't agree with me, sometimes you should say, I don't agree. Well, I kind of know what's good for me around here, so, <laughs> you know, so I better give you the right answer, you know. <laughs> You can fight back, it'll be all right. And the last, I'm gonna do a couple of stitches. We're tying it off nice. All right, and we're now, we're, we're ready. Let's see, that looks very nice. It's about, so an eighth of an inch, or maybe a little, little less than, oh no, it's about an eighth of an inch. That's about an eighth of an inch, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we rolled it over an eighth and an inch. We're gonna do the other, and then uh, we'll sew it up. So we've got our silk stocking cut out, um, uh, rolled over hem at the top, and now we're gonna sew up the back seam. And this we recommend you do with a uh, machine, because there's gonna be quite a bit of tension on this saw. You really want to have the tightness of a machine. Easy to do, we'll just do one take. Cut. All right, so we've already done the other, so we're ready to do some clipping, and then we're going to turn it inside out. using our fingers to do this don't don't um, since it's a knit don't use a tool to to open it up uh, because the foot's going to do it so we're going to turn the other inside out which we've already done and so oh no we've got to do that one too so we're going to turn that one inside out and again don't don't try to do this with a tool to open it up because your your foot is gonna her foot is going to do that And you get too rough and your, your, your tools end up going right through the silk net. So, this is it. Do they fit? Her little bottom of her feet are a little bit dirty because it's, she's been, uh, this is one of our working girls that has to work for a living. And that's good, it looks really nice on the, the bottom of the foot. We've got it centered perfectly, so our seam's going up. And it's got to just ease on up. above the knee, so. And let's get them to match up pretty well. I think we've got it. So we've got a really nice fit, and they're looking really good. And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the pants, 
and that's a, these are big steps that are done. And then we will be moving on to a new, uh, a new project. So we've got the stockings on. We're very happy with the fit. Uh, and as you can see at this time, once the stockings were on, we did the drawstring on the uh, pantalettes and they're looking absolutely charming. So we're gonna move on to a new project.